Hi guys, good morning. So we are very hungry right now and we have decided to try a new breakfast dish. Yes, we are gonna make a shao shuka. Is that, is that right? <laughs> I think so. Yeah, so actually this is a Mediterranean dish. However, we try to make it our own version, but I'm pretty sure it turned out to be just as awesome. So let's start! Chung! Here are the ingredients. We will be needing some celery, one and a half diced potatoes, about two diced tomatoes, and also a lime. And here is some chopped onions and also about five cloves of garlic and some parsley leaf. Yes, and uh, for the uh, next ingredient you need, we'll be using some butter and also this is something different, we'll be putting cheese onto it because I'm sure it will taste awesome and the herbs, uh, you'll be using any herbs you have in your kitchen we have some thyme leaf, rosemary leaf, uh, Italian mixed herb and also uh, some chilli powder, this will give extra kick to it and also for seasoning, we'll be having the normal salt and pepper uh, some sugar and also three eggs and uh, for extra flavouring for the dish, we'll be using uh, tomato based uh, pasta sauce as well. This will just give in the extra aroma. So here are the ingredients we need. First, we will need to boil the potatoes. Ensure the water is boiling and put in a pinch of salt. Next, we will put in the potatoes. Let it boil for 5 minutes. Alright guys, so here is the potato that has been boiled for 5 minutes. As you can see, we have already drained it off. Right now, we are going to fry it so that it will become fragrant. So first, just put some cooking oil onto the pan. Next, we will put in like a cube of uh, butter. This will actually make it make the Okay, so once that is done, we will uh, toss the potato in and we'll fry it until it turns uh, golden brown. Now we'll season it with some salt, a pinch of salt. And also, uh, any herbs for this, we'll be using thyme leaf. And uh, let it continue frying until it becomes uh, golden brown. Okay, so now the potato is ready. We'll just uh, drain this and put this aside. You see, it's all golden brown. Okay, we'll set it aside and we'll actually put it into the dish later on on the final preparation Okay, after putting the potato aside uh, there's no need for you to uh, rinse the pan off since it's still greasy and also uh, there is flavouring from the previous uh, herbs that you put in you can straight away immediately fry the uh, onions And we'll fry it for about 3 to 4 minutes until it turns uh, golden. Alright, halfway through, we'll put in the garlic. Okay, so after about frying for about 3 to 4 minutes, we will toss in the tomatoes. And this will take about another 4 minutes to fry. And you can toss in whatever herbs you have right now and season it as well. Here are some coriander leaves. Alright, meanwhile it's frying, uh, just dilute about 3 tablespoons of your tomato sauce in water.
and we'll pour it into the pan. And now we'll let it simmer for about another 4 minutes. Okay, so now we'll season the dish with about 2 teaspoons of chili powder. If you have paprika powder, that will be better. Then we'll follow by with some uh, rosemary leaf and salt. pinch of pepper and about half teaspoon of uh, any mixer so now we'll let it simmer all right now we'll follow by one teaspoon of sugar give it a quick mix and we will toss in the potatoes that we have fried just now and put this on low heat So right now when it's simmering, we'll just try to make uh, about three holes on the dish so that we can place our egg. Here is one, two, three. Press it. And now we'll place our cheese on top. I've just used a uh, normal cheddar cheese and I've sliced it into four pieces. We'll cover with a lid and let it simmer for about seven to ten minutes, and we're done. All right. So after about simmering, uh, this is about six minutes. We we'll just open it up. Garnish it. Here are some sliced uh, tomatoes. And here is the lime that we have cut up half uh, just for the acidity, just squeeze some on top of it. Lastly, we'll put in some mix up. And that is done. So, this is our version of Shao Shuka! <laughs> I'm still not sure whether I'm pronouncing it right, but. Guys, look at this. It looks like some cafe food, you know? Yes. It smells so good as well. It's very colorful, right? Yeah, look at that. Mm -hmm. So right now, uh, we'll try it out. Mm -hmm. it smells so good. It's like lasagna, right? Yeah, right. And there's no meat in this. <laughs> And uh, you can have this with uh, any bread of your choice as well. Yes! Wow! Oh see you. <laughs> so, it's time to taste. It's like it's like having the marinara sauce, yeah. Mm. But it's very refreshing, though. Yeah. 
I feel because and the egg is very soft. I can really feel that this will go well with the bread. <laughs> so let's try. This should be because we fry fresh, right? Mm. So it's very fragrant. Very mm, good. It's like a very thick French fry on uh, pasta sauce. Yeah. You have to try with the bread. I think I can eat this all day. Mm -hmm. Actually, when I was searching for this uh, recipe, some of them say that they have this uh, for breakfast, lunch, or dinner, basically anytime. Yeah, I think it can be lunch also. It's very healthy as well. Yeah. It's all veggie only. Mm. Thumbs up. Mm. It's so good, I want to continue eating. Yes. So, yeah, this is our uh, video Vision. for yeah, our Saoshoka version for our breakfast idea. Stay tuned and uh, if you like this video, please like, comment, subscribe to us and let us know how can we improve this and also if there is any idea of any uh, easy Breakfast. cooking idea to let us know because <laughs> we would like to try it out too. Yeah. So, see Till you next, guys time. next time. Ciao. See you. No, it's too long. Uh.